You're watching CHCO TV's Gavel to Gavel coverage of the December 20, 2023 Special Council Meeting for the Municipal District of St. Stephen. I'm Florence Mitchell. And I'm Vicki Hogarth. In today's meeting, Bylaw M-2-05, a bylaw to amend Municipal Plan Bylaw M-2 and Bylaw Z-3-02, a bylaw to amend Zoning Bylaw Z-3 will have their second and third readings. Under new business, many requests for decisions will be made. Council will set the date of the January Committee of the Whole meeting. Council will move to transfer $107,799.07 from the General Capital Reserve Fund to the General Capital Fund for the King Street Plaza project. Council will then move to transfer $54,029 from the Water and Sewerage Operating Fund to the Water and Sewerage Capital Reserve Fund. Next, Council will move to transfer $16,185.71 from the General Capital Reserve Fund to the General Capital Fund and $12,210.28 from the Water and Sewage Capital Reserve Fund to the Water and Sewage Capital Fund for the School Street Project. Following that, there will be a motion to transfer $6,571.68 from the General Capital Reserve Fund to the General Capital Fund for the Waterfront Revitalization Project. Council will move to transfer $19,894.36 from the General Operating Reserve Fund to the General Operating Fund as part of the Works Department Strategic Plan. Council will then move to transfer $11,271.01 from the General Operating Reserve Fund to the General Operating Fund to support the Turning the Corner project. Next, Council will move to rescind Resolution 203-23 relating to Water Waste Treatment System upgrades and to transfer $14,000 from the Water and Sewage Operating Fund to the Water and Sewage Capital Reserve Fund. Finally, Council will move to terminate the Water and Sewage Collection Agreement with Service New Brunswick. Now let's join Council in the Moosehead Room at the Garcelin Civic Center in St. Stephen. Good evening, everyone. Uh, uh, Welcome to our Municipal District uh, of St. Stephen Council agenda, uh, December 20th, 2023 at 6.01 p.m. Uh, before we begin, I would like to respectfully acknowledge that we are gathered today on ancestral, unceded territory of the Pasunumakati peoples. And I need a remover and seconder for the agenda for the Special Council meeting, December 20th, 2023. Council Eastman, Council Wright, any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Seeing none, thank you. Any conflicts of interest this evening? No, seeing none. Uh, I don't know about this. Okay, so we're moving on to bylaws. Uh, let's see, I need a mover and seconder for, for M2 05 bylaw to amend the municipal plan bylaw M 2, second and third reading. Councilor Harding? Deputy Mayor Wheaton, that the bylaw M-2-05, a bylaw to amend the bylaw number M-2 being the municipal plan bylaw for the Municipal District of St. Stephen be given a second reading title only. All those, in, any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried, thank you. And let's see. And yeah, the next one is just the same one. So I need a mover and seconder for bylaw M 205, third reading. So Councilor Rodas, Councilor Greenlaw. Uh, the bylaw M 205, a bylaw to amend bylaw number M 2 being the municipal plan bylaw for the municipal district of St. Stephen be given its third and final reading by title only. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Okay. okay, I need a mover and seconder for 
Z302 bylaw to amend zoning bylaw Z-3, second and third uh, reading. Councilor Eastman. Second. Councilor Wright. The bylaw Z302, a bylaw to amend the bylaw number Z-3 being zoning bylaw for the Municipal District of St. Stephen be given its second and reading by title only. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Moving right along. Propo uh, mover and seconder for the proposed resolution of the, the bylaw Z-3-02 for its third and final reading. So Councilor Harding? Second. Deputy Mayor Wheaton. That the bylaws number Z-302, a bylaw to amend bylaw number Z-3, being a zoning bylaw for the Municipal District of St. Stephen, be given its third and final reading by title only. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, next up we got new business, request for decisions. Uh, okay, proposed resolution to the Committee of the Whole. Okay, so these are transfers. So I need a mover and seconder to move into the request for decisions. Move. Council Greenlaw, Councilor Eastman. Uh, do you need any discussion on these or just go right through? Yeah, we, okay. Each one has its own resolution. All right, so we'll go with the, the Committee of the Whole meeting date the month, January 24, be moved, well, okay, be moved from January 10th of 2024 to January 17th, 2024. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. Uh, we're proposing to shift the meeting by one week. Um, the month has five Wednesdays, and it'll allow us after the holidays to get back in the office and get some work done prior to uh, setting the agenda for that meeting. Um, so we're just, we, nothing else will shift too much, and we have that extra week in the month, so I uh, thought it would maybe be a good opportunity to you know, let people get back from holidays and uh, and get things set for for the new year. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, the last time we moved it, it inter there was a conflict with our streaming. Has that been double checked to make sure there wouldn't be any conflict with that? I just want to make sure we're not creating any issues. That's all. When we do it, otherwise, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? concerns all right all those in favor Aye. Aye. any opposed motion carried thank you okay next up is the transfer uh we'll get a mover and seconder for the transfer of the general capital reserve fund king street plaza project mm -hmm. deputy mayor wheaton second council Wright. any discussion on that or it's pretty for is it transferred? Do you don't, anything you want to share with that or just about the transfer? Uh, well, the, uh, this is the town's portion of the Street Plaza project uh, we have there. So, and uh, it was, uh, it was um, uh, recommended that it come out from the General Capital Reserve. So this is the expenses to date uh, for 2023 portion for the town moving over from the General Capital Reserve. There may be some more coming up in the next year if there's some more invoices for coming in, but this is what it is to date anyway. Okay, thanks, Tim. All right, uh, so that the amount of $107,799.07 uh, be transferred from the General Capital Reserve Fund to the General Capital Fund for the King Street Plaza project. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Seeing none, motion carried. All right, mover and seconder for the transfer to Water and Sewerage Capital Reserve Fund 2023 budget. CS052-2023. So Councillor Wright, <coughs> Councillor Hardin. Uh, anything you want to share on that, Tim, before I? This is, uh, this is just the amount that we had budgeted for 2023 to move to the utility uh, capital reserve in the budget. So that's just moving it over. OK, all right. Any questions of council? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Or that the amount of fifty-four thousand twenty-nine dollars be transferred from the Water and Sewerage Operating Fund to the Water and Sewerage Capital Reserve Fund. Okay. Now, in the new move, uh, mover and seconder for the General and Water Sewerage Capital Reserve Fund School Street Project CS-052-2023. 
2023. Mover and seconder, please. Councillor Cornish. Councillor uh, Rodas. Uh, that's pretty straightforward there, Tim. Yep. So uh, the, that the amount of $16,185.71 be transferred from the General Capital Reserve Fund to the General Capital Fund for the School Street Project. Any questions of Council? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Seeing none, motion carried. Thank you. Uh, now, mover and seconder for the amount of uh, $12,210 for the school or for the water and sewerage fund? So moved. Council Greenlaw? Second. Council Hardy? <laughs> Sorry to look right at you looking for <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that the amount of $12,210.28 be transferred from the water and sewerage capital reserve fund to the water and sewerage capital fund. Any questions? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried, thank you. All right, mover and seconder for the General Capital Reserve Fund Waterfront Revitalization, CS054-2023. Councilor Eastman? Second. Deputy Mayor Wheaton. That the amount of $6,571.68 be transferred from the General Capital Reserve Fund to the General Capital Fund for the Waterfront Revitalization Wharf Area Project. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Okay. Mover and seconder to transfer from the General Operating Fund Reserve Fund Works Department Strategic Plan, CS055-2023. Okay. Deputy Mayor Wheaton, okay. Council Cornish. Uh, the proposed resolution that the amount of $19,894.36 be transferred from the General Operating Reserve Fund to the General Operating Fund. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. All right. Next up, transfer from General Operating Reserve Fund, turning the corner project, CS056-2023. Move and seconder, please. Yes. Councilor Rodas, Councilor Wright. Uh, the amount of $11,271 and one penny. Uh, be transferred from the General Operating Reserve Fund to the General Operating Fund. Questions? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. All right. Move, uh, move or seconder for the transfer from Water and Sewerage Operating Fund SCADA Upgrades 2024 CS057 2023. Councilor Harding? Sorry. Council Cornish? Sure. The floor is yours. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, just so Council has understand what we're doing here, last Council, um, prior to the return of our, our Treasurer, um, we, had, we had gotten approval from Council to take $700 and change out of the Reserve Fund to pay for the escaped upgrades. Um, about the same time that uh, Mr. Tozer returned to the office, it was discovered that that work won't actually get completed in this calendar year. So instead, we're asking you to reverse the decision to take the money out and the second resolution is to take this year's allotment of money for it, put it into the reserve, so that we can pull it back out next year when we finish, when we actually get the project uh, underway and the, those bills come in. So that's why there's a, a rescind the old one, and then we're going to do it the, uh, the opposite direction for now, and then we'll pull it out next year. I'm good with that. All right. So, so the resolution number. 20323 be rescinded. Okay. Uh, any, okay, that the amount of $14,000 be transferred from the Water and Sewage Operating Fund to the Water and Sewage Capital Reserve Fund. Any questions? <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. For what one? Hmm? Oh, under H, there's two? Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, 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 oh. i sorry about that. I just saw the H. And I. Okay, so let's do a start over here. So I had a mover. Okay, I had a mover second for the resolution number 20323 be rescinded. So all those in favor of that? 
Any opposed? Okay, carried. Thank you. Mover and seconder for the uh, for the proposed resolution of the amount of fourteen thousand dollars be transferred from the water and sewerage operating fund to the water and sewerage capital reserve fund. So Councilor Wright, so Councilor Eastman, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, mover and seconder for the cancellation of the water and sewage collection agreement with the Service New Brunswick, CS058-2023. Council Greenlaw? One second. Council Eastman? Uh, that the management is authorized to provide an appropriate notice to the Service New Brunswick to terminate the services for the collection of water and sewage accounts payments in most expedient manner possible. Questions? Joyce? Or Council Wright? May I ask, just for background, what triggered this? Was it the fees they charge us for the purposes of collecting and we're right next door, or? Okay, the council did, I think. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, partly, partly was that, partly was, um, we, since our relocation to the GCC, we are better equipped to handle the day-to-day -day payments than we were when we were at Ganong Place, just the way that we've structured our, our, our own staff. Um, so uh, it came up, at a previous meeting about the, the fees that were being paid, um, and quite frankly, uh, in, you know, for for day to day stuff, um, I think it's a better client experience for us to do it here at the front desk most days. Then, uh, so I think we can do a better client experience with less of those those costs to the municipality. Um, and we talked about it as a management team and decided that uh, you know it, we we might have you know, also made this recommendation a little while ago, but uh, the time had come to bring this forward and. Uh, Normally, it would be an administrative decision, but because um, I took a look at it and, and decided it was, in a sense, a, a loss of service level because of the other location um, being taken off grid, uh, we wanted this to come to council for for debate and decision um, before before we did anything. Any further questions? All right, let's uh, go for a vote. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. All right, a mover and seconder to move into closed. Council Harding, Council Eastman. 